What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about SaaS. A couple of weeks ago, I was invited out to SaaS Explore, which is their big SaaS conference out in Las Vegas. Now on my channel, I have recommended in the past for people to learn SaaS for statistics. That's really all I've ever personally used it for, but I had a feeling it did more than that. So when they mentioned that this conference was gonna have a big focus on AI and analytics, I really wanted to attend because I wanted to see how these large companies were gonna be integrating AI into their software. Now, although AI and generative AI was the main focus of this conference, they still had all these booths in this giant room with everything that SaaS actually did. I honestly didn't know that SaaS did all of those things. I really just thought it was for statistics and that is in the name of SaaS, but they do a lot of other things like data engineering, computer vision, augmented analytics, data governance, and a ton of other things as well. And so I was just kind of nerding out at every booth. I was asking a ton of questions and really digging into how each of their systems work. And they honestly looked really cool. And so now looking back, I feel kind of bad because I've only ever talked about it for statistical analysis. And I didn't really know or understand that it did all of these other things. But one of the things that interested me the most and something that I specifically came out there to learn more about was AI and generative AI within SaaS. There's really only two different things that I wanted to talk about in terms of AI and generative AI within SaaS that I just thought was really, really cool. The first First was how they can create this synthetic data that you can use to test for specific use cases. It's basically fake data that you can create for all these what if scenarios. What if this happens and you can test the data on it to see what would happen in that scenario. That alone is a really great use of AI. And they gave an example with kidney disease and kidney transplants in healthcare. And I'm extremely familiar with that area. And so I thought the use case that they gave was really unique and something that I thought would be really useful because I've actually worked with that data before. I could absolutely see myself using something like that, using this fake synthetic data in order to test all these hypotheses or all these scenarios. The second thing that I thought was really cool is that they're implementing LLMs throughout their entire product. So at every single level of their product, you're gonna be able to just chat with your data and ask questions and kind of get some of the low level tasks done quickly. That's something that a ton of other really big tech companies are trying to do and SaaS is actually doing it. So it's just really neat to see how they're executing it and how it actually works. All that to say, I feel like I need to dig into SaaS just a little bit more to really understand it and see everything that it can do. Huge shout out to SaaS for bringing me out to the conference. I had a wonderful time and I got to spend time with some really awesome creators in the data space. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.